the following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Ready for some mayhem? Ready for some havoc? Uh, I'm not quite sure, actually. And her opponent, from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Ryan. Ruby Ryan has said all along, if I would, was in the business of pleasing people, I wouldn't be here. I'll do things the way that I want to do them. As tough as they come, rebels against the norm. If you don't like what Ruby Riot's about, she doesn't care. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. This one's over. A knee drop. Harsh impact. What a stop. Good grief. What's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow flapjack! Face first, it's over. Kick! Oh, look at that. Beautiful technique. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Ron Strummel was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love a brawling clash with the Wyatts drive to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatts took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. Bubba Ray took on the Wyatts with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much, as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray through the final table. Ruby Riot is anti-establishment. She's an anarchist and someone who takes aim at those born with a silver spoon in their mouths. When it comes to Ruby, it is down with the system. point about Ruby Riot wanting to bring down the establishment. I need to agree with that. Ruby is controlled, calculated, and possesses an abundance of self-confidence. All I hear is whining from you two. It's because of Ruby Riot's fantastic qualities that the Riot Squad is one cohesive unit. And the inspirational leader of the group is one of the premier competitors in WWE today. That's 
that's what you call a bad landing. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match going either way. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. And Natalia pops the shoulder up. Too soon. Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines. The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed brutality evolve and superstars crash through flaming tables. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Look out. There she goes. She wants to do this in the ring. She dodges that one. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. on fire. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Well, this is not good at all. The really targeting the back on that one. I don't know how much longer these superstars can avoid going through a table. You'd have to think one of them will succumb here sooner than later. Oh, nasty impact. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Boom, oh, impact. What impact. Ooh Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. Irish whip. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Holy! Irish whip! Holy! Irish whip! What a win for Natalia. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action.
Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste Here is of the unbelievable kind. Natalia! That's a big win, and to be honest, it looked like this tables match could have gone either way there for a while. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to 